Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Anna and today we're going to do a Timu haul. These are items that I picked out myself and I paid for myself, but you can still find them in my link down below. And if, if it's your first time purchasing, you still use a 30% off discount code for your first time purchase. And remember all the deals, if you're a regular, that they send you $5 off or this or that, in your emails and you've applied them to your cart, they will apply. All you have to do is click my link and pick out the items that you want and proceed on and, and do your checkout and everything will, will still apply. So let's go through this haul. Okay. Um, we have some exciting items, nice mix, but we had like one that was like, huh, what, what happened here? So you'll see that. Okay, but the first things first, we're going to talk about the green grab bags. Now, for those of you that are my followers or Dollar Tree haulers, you remember when they had the green grab bags at the Dollar Tree many, many, many years ago, four or five years ago, maybe five years ago, and they were very big. And when I saw these for $3.99 and the prices do fluctuate, they could be cheaper now. You just have to click the link and find out. Um... When I purchased these, these are three dollars ninety nine cents. But these are smaller. These are not the really big ones like the ones that we got from Dollar Tree. You see, this is the size, and I did already push in this little um, part where you could put it on the cart. I already assembled everything, but I wanted to show you. This is what they look like. Okay, they're not the real, real big ones. I still have two or three of the real big ones from Dollar Tree. And um, these are very spacious and they will hold a good amount of food, groceries or bags or whatever. Like maybe I would say four bags, like uh, plastic bags worth of stuff, but they're not as big as the other one, but they're still useful. So there you go. I got three of the green grab bags and it even has a little outside pocket here. And then you're supposed to put this on your cart because you slide these on on your shopping cart. They'll clip right onto your shopping cart while you shop. I don't know about that because look, they're not big enough. They're not long enough to do that. Yeah, it's not long enough to do that. These things aren't long enough to do that unless it's like one of those little tiny, tiny shopping carts. Yeah, but there you go. I needed some of these for me to go grocery shopping and what have you. So I picked those up. Not bad for $3.99, but I expected them to be the bigger kind, but they're not. Okay, the next um, item will be, okay, this is called the 60 by 80 Vintage B Pattern Flannel Blanket. And let's open this up together. Where's my scissors? So it came like this, shrink-wrapped, right? Let's pop her open. Hopefully it's the B design. Let me see. It doesn't say... Here we go. Yeah, it looks like it's the B design. Okay, when I saw this, I was like, wow, that's so pretty. Um, I'm going to try to show you the best that I can, considering the limited amount of space I have here. But um, I'm going to give you an idea. So this blanket is a little bit on the thin side, but it's still um, very soft. So let's start at the top. Now I'll show you what the top looks like. The inside has this white, um, very soft, you know, furry, furry style fabric. But this is the top. Okay. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you guys can see that. So that's the top half. Then I'm going to, so you guys have an idea. Here we go. And hopefully you guys have an idea of what it looks like. So it has like the big bee and the honeycomb dripping and then the different bees here on the side. Some florals. Really, really, really pretty. It's super soft. <laughs> this is like really soft. This is going to be very cozy. I bought it to sit in my chair in my bedroom. And I thought maybe even for this chair. So this was $21.49 when I purchased it. 
Um, I don't know. And I got the big one. This was the biggest size they had. They had smaller sizes. So if you want something a little bit smaller, you could get it smaller. Okay. Next one, I bought three of the imitation wood grain placemats. And I'm loving these because they look like wood grain. And they are placemats. Um, just wipe it off. And I do have a farmhouse look here in my home. But I also keep some of them here on my craft room table because they're easy to wipe off and wipe down for anything that I might be doing. It's a great catch-all for that too. So I got three more. And that's what it looks like in the back. Okay. Really cool looking, right? So this was $1.78 when I purchased them. And everything will be linked down below. It will. Um, just click my link. Then I got a dollhouse artist paint box for $2.09. Let's look for that one. My artist, because I have a dollhouse here, 112 scale dollhouse miniatures. I have a couple of houses. That's just one of them. Um, so I bought this. Let's pop her open. Now, the last time I looked, if um, it was sold out, but they always bring it back. Here we go. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's cute. Okay, so it looks like this. All right. And that is the Artisan Paint Box. Uh-oh. And of course, my phone would be ringing. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. So that's beautiful. You guys see that well? Very, very cool. I'm going to just set this right over here. Why is my perfume box over here? <laughs> Why is the perfume box right there? That was so odd. Okay. Then the next item. Okay. The next item is a creative hydrophonic flower bottle set. I already put them together for you. So we're not going to, I'm not going to sit here and go through all that, you know, crazy stuff. This was hydrophonic smaller this was seven dollars and 98 cents and it looks like that i already put it together all i had to do was put on the legs and slide these in um, they do slide out so if you need to change the water put your plant back in there let it continue to grow um, this is the water system so you could do um, your herbs this way whatever you want or if you're trying to get something to sprout you put them here and they start to sprout then you could put them outside but it's really pretty. It's wood on the top, as you can tell. It has the metal black legs here. And they do have the little rubber stoppers there. And like I said, these are nice because they pull out. All right. And that's what it looks like on that side. Very cool. It's part of a hydrophonic, you know, to grow your herbs or start your vegetables or whatever it is. Here we go. Okay, so that's a small one again. $7.98. Washi tape. No, 60 pieces of washing material, paper, bottle shape. $2.89. Now, what I'm going to do with these, you guys, I will do a separate close-up video. You won't see my face. You're just going to see the product. I know these are hard to see, and I will do that for you so you can see the product close up and decide if you're really interested in it or not. I did get three, three different variations, four different variations of it. Okay. I got four different variations. So this one is the fragrant, fragrant forest and it's 15 pieces. That one is the gorgeous flowers. This one is a beautiful poem. And this one is natural paradise. And like I said, they're 15 pieces each. And when you pop them open, they come open like that. And they look like bottles. So this one is Natural Paradise. This one's called Natural Paradise. And I will do a close-up video for these if you like. Let me know down below. Okay. So you can see each piece one by one a little bit better. 
but I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so that's one. It was very pretty. All right, let me put this back in here because I don't want to lose anything. And I do, I do, um, I do junk journals and things like that. So if you like things like that, you know, join my channel. Um, and I do, I haven't done any plus size, um, try ons lately, but I think I'll probably get back to that soon. There you go. We got a pretty good mix of stuff and I do prepping as well. I do that too. Beautiful poem. Okay. And those look like this for beautiful poem. Oh, that one's upside down. Alright, that was a beautiful poem. These are just gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous. I hadn't I've never bought these before. And when I saw them and they had that charming bottle shape, I was all in. I mean, I was all in. Now I do have another hydrophonic watering system that I bought that I'm gonna be sharing with you. So just hold on tight. Gorgeous flowers. There we go. Let's pop this one open so you can see what this one looks like. And uh, these are a little mixed up here. I can see it from here. Yeah, these are. All right. These are mixed up a little bit here. They're not all facing the same way. I'm not too sure why. Okay. There, so it's making it easier for me to share it with you. And forget that one and this one. There you go. And that was Gorgeous Flower. And it should all be linked down below. Um, it's on the same link that you get to pick like the different variations. And then this last one is fragrant forest, fragrant forest. Okay. And fragrant forest looks like this. Fragrant Forest. Very pretty. <laughs> All right. Let me put this back in here so I don't lose anything. All righty. Then the next item that I have for you guys are the men's running shoes. And these were $33.29. I got these for my son. Um, I showed it to him and I was like, do you like these shoes? And he was like, they're fire mom, get them for me. So they look like this and I have bought shoes from them and I am good with them. I wear a size 12 woman's shoe. So I usually do a size 45 and a men's shoe. So basically a 12, um, and it's comfortable for me and they work out great. I can't fit into the women's shoes. Their shoes don't go up to a 12 in women's shoes. So I ha always have to get the men's but they have been comfortable. Um, I would recommend probably putting in a nice sport insole just to give you a little bit more cushion if you need it. Um, but then they're nice. They, they've been working out great for me. Um, so this one looks like this. It has this great black and white and red type design. And then um, it's all together one piece. Then it goes like that. And then you have your shoelace. It comes up high over here. It has this back here that's like rubberized, um, and that's the heel. So they have some really cool looking shoes there. I mean, really cool looking like tennis shoes. So I got these pair for my son. Like I said, these are for my son. Very nice. All right. Yeah, 
I know he can't wait to get these. He's been looking forward to getting these. Let me put these down right here. Okay, I'm looking at my list of things that I purchased. <laughs> then I got the 6 and one lip balm set, but that's actually downstairs. I'll show you that in the next Timu haul. Then I got a 100 piece of colorful laser stickers, Magic World, for $3.48. I'm going to assume it's this. So these are the laser, 100 piece, $3.48. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you all of them, but I will give you a gist of some of the stuff that you might get. Um, there's that one. So it looks like there's two of each. There's like the bottle. There's the moon. So there's the sun. So it has um, some really cool some really cool um ones to look at again it's a hundred pieces in here and that was three dollars and 48 cents that'll be really nice to use on paper projects making cards or whatever you know journaling your calendar if you're a planner um the next one is going to be the egyptian pharaoh pendant for two dollars and nine cents um here it is two dollars and nine cents I kept it in the bag so I wouldn't lose it. I'm looking at it for the first time. It did come with a chain and I wasn't expecting it to come with a chain. Let me put it on the chain. I thought I was just only going to get the pendant. So it's nice to see that they provided the chain because when I looked at the picture, it didn't show a chain. So I was fully prepared to put my own chain. So there we go. That's what she looks like. And they had different variations of it. And I thought it was really pretty. Okay. Very pretty. So let me put this one back in here. So again, that was $2.09. The next one is 18 rolls of washi. And I got it in what they call animals. Okay, and this was $9.48, and it comes in this really beautiful package, $9.48. So this would make actually a very nice gift. Look how beautiful that packaging is. Packaging is just gorgeous. And I love the fact that it's in a box, and you slide it out, and then you have all these gorgeous washi. So you guys can see them. And they're, oh, 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 okay, let me not do that. I was trying to move it around for you so you can see the different things that you might be able to see. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not, let me try a little bit more. There you go. There we go. <laughs> I just, I was just washing, I'm putting washi on my planner yesterday, on my um, health planner. Yeah, so this is gorgeous and then there's two other ones that i wanted from this washi line they were sold out so i put myself on notification so once it comes in i'll know again this is nine dollars 48 cents but before before i move on i know you guys always want to know how much comes on there um this much so they give you enough to do you know a project um you're not going to get a whole big huge roll you're not this is how much this is the average how much you're going to get okay just to give you a heads up i know you probably were going to ask that now the next item is uh farm lavender vintage paper farm lavender vintage paper i think this is it farm lavender vintage paper maybe are you it i don't know no this is patchwork memoir this was spice in full bloom maybe this is it uh oof. this might be it um this is a six by six 24 sheets and if this is it well no it says no that's not supposed to be it because it's supposed to be 12 piece this is 24 piece but this one says 
patchwork of memo. Hmm. Um, plaid pattern. Let me just talk about the plaid pattern. This is a dollar sixty nine, and this is twelve pieces. A dollar sixty nine, really pretty. Um, and you get all these in here. Okay, dollar sixty nine. Then the next one is the mini iron rack outdoor. Oh, okay, that's for dollhouse ventures. Okay, this is, wow, they really packed this up good. Look, they sealed this sucker up good. I'm going to have to break that seal. Okay, so this is like for a hanging sign for a dollhouse miniature. So you put your hanging sign on there. Very cool. And this was how much? 98 cents. So let me put this here. I'm going to put that on the counter in the kitchen so it doesn't get lost. Okay, and then the next thing we got is a dollhouse trunk. Now, this is my second time buying this. I do have one already, and I really, really liked it. Um, the straps do move around, so um, you can glue them down or take them off or, you know, whatever, however you want to do it. But the straps do move around. Then you pop her open. Let me see if I pop her open. Here we go. You pop her open, and it's nicely lined. So it has this whole faux leather look to it. And this was $3.48. Like that. Okay. And the straps, like I said, the straps do move around, do move around. So, you know, it's up to you how you want to handle that situation. They're kind of on the long side. I'll probably personally, I'd probably just cut them because a little bit on the long, on the long side for me. So let's put, I'm just going to put, put her right. Actually, I'll put it right here on top of there. There. Okay. So the next thing is the Okay, this is the this is the other. Okay, this is the one I had a problem with. This is a provocation station terrarium three piece, and one of the pieces didn't fit. And so is this kind, and it does come in one piece, two piece, and three piece. This is supposed to be three piece, but that glass hole right there is not big enough to let it slide in. So I put it together already. And um, this is, again, um, hydroponic system. You put your flowers in there. Now, what I would say, because you see how that goes through the middle, each time you want to change out the water or something, you're going to have to slide it in, slide it out, move the little holders. Um, this is going to be, you know, it's going to be a little bit more work. Then you got to be careful to make sure that the water doesn't fall out from that one while you're pulling it all out. So something to think about versus if you really want to do a hydroponic hydroponic system without the muss and the fuss, um, you might want to consider this one that just slides in and out and do it that way. Because this one's going to be a lot more harder to work with, especially when you got water and what have you. Um, but what I did figure out, let me show you real quick and put that one down. And that system, again, was... Nine dollars ninety eight cents, and it's supposed to have three. It's supposed to come with three, but this didn't fit. I can use this here, so I'll just slide one of them out right now because all these are glass, and I figured I could use it here. See that? So I can use it here if I have something that has you know some more growth. I can do that switch. So it's not off for loss, you know. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, the next thing is the 49 piece Retro Girl stickers. Uh, oh, here they are. So they look like that, and they're like black and white. And these are the Retro Girl stickers. 49 piece for a dollar 48. And again, the prices are they fluctuate. I'm just going to show you a few so you have an idea of what's available for these. She's upside down. Okay, so there you go. It's a lot of them. It's a lot. But I figured that would be a fun thing to use. 
um, in my paper projects. And they're cheaper than Tim Holtz. <laughs> I do have the Tim Holtz. I have the Tim Holtz one, but they're cheaper than Tim Holtz. Okay. Then I have the cookie notebook. Super cute. The cookie notebook was $2.98. And they had different variations. They had one that looked like it had a chunk bitten out of. And they had a different one that looked different. Ooh, this, oh, this feels like, this has the coolest feel. It feels like rubber on the outside. Round, lovely biscuits. That's what it says. And it looks like a biscuit. It is so cool. Look at that detail. Look at that. Then the inside is a notebook. You can take your notes. Oh my gosh, it is so stinking cute. Look at that. It looks like a straight up biscuit. Again, this was $2.98. And they had like different variations of biscuits. I just picked out this one. Yeah. That is so stinking cute. <laughs> I love that. Okay. And, um, okay, the next item is the 80 count disposable face towels. Okay, so as a prepper, I'm always looking for things from my home um to make sense this is 80 pieces of cotton disposable face towels and they come in this cute little holder and they look like this so you take out what you need okay and you just take out what you need now some of them come in little bags that you that you can open up put in water and what have you but I wanted to try these to see what they were like. And they, they had a good price. These were $3.59. And I thought I could have these in my car because I do have kids. I'm a mom. I'm a mom. I have kiddos. So this would be a good you know thing to have in the car. So I bought that for that reason. Then the next one is 24-piece scrapbook paper. Okay, that's this one. 24-piece scrapbook paper. That's this really pretty one. Does it show all? Yeah, it does show all of the different designs. Look how pretty. And I was really surprised for $2.09, 24 pieces. Normally you only get 12. So normally you only get 12. Ugh. Let me see. So it's all these really pretty designs. I'm about to lose these they're all about to fall out of my hand let's see i can use some of these for dollhouse miniatures and for some of my paper projects so very pretty 24 24 pieces right here insane two dollars nine cents and they're all pretty and they have the small print that i was looking for okay let me put it back in here and then the last one so okay that lavender thing that lavender paper paper thing, I guess, was that one. Um, oh, wow. I am tearing this. Okay, I just tore this thing apart. Okay, let me put this here. I just tore this packaging apart. Okay, this is no good. So I think this was the lavender one. Yeah, this was the lavender one. So let's, well, you can see that. You see all the pretty designs. For the lavender one. And the lavender paper was 12 piece plaid lavender vintage paper farm lavender, $1.69. $1.69. Okay. Then um, the last thing I got was this. This is to repair screens, your window screens. I have two holes anti, -mos anti mosquito screen repair. Um, so I do have two holes that I need to repair and let me see if I can show you what it looks like. Let me see if I could break this because when you have a screen and it has a hole, the flies and the bugs will come right through it, you know, and screens are not cheap. So it did come in two different colors in gray and in black. I got black. So this is a screen repair kit. So you just cut out what you need, take off the tape, and then put it on your screen. And you'll have the actual screen repair so nothing can get through it. This was $1.18.
$1.18. And you get a pretty good amount considering, you know, this roll. You get a pretty good amount. So if you have like a long tear or something, you could repair it because it's a pretty good amount. And you still got more on there. Um, yeah, just to keep the bugs out. But that is everything for this haul. It was like a good mix of items, I think. <laughs> if you see anything that you might like, go down into my description box or the first pinned comment. You will see a link. Click the link and you will see the pictures for all the things that I shared. And if they're sold out, you're not going to see the picture. It'll You'll see a little section all the way at the bottom. They'll say sold out items. Click on that. And sometimes it'll let you click on it and put yourself on a wait list. And then they'll notify you for anything that's sold out if you put in your email um, and they'll notify you. Okay, so that is it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.